Look out. Hey guys, Dusty Baker with Cross Timbers Bison. Welcome back to the channel. Check it out right here. Got the neighbors, big tractor, big cab tractor, AC, radio, big brush hog right here. So, doing another little project. Maybe you could call it a test, but what I'm gonna do today, here's the yearlings. You guys remember them from a couple videos ago. These jack wagons messing with the water tank. I've got it moved around right now just so I could get this big cutter in here. This right here, this is what we call our Bermuda patch. This is also the patch, you see a lot of these dead things here. This is where the cockleburrs were. And you can see where the bison had actually rubbed into it because this stuff is so nasty. Look at those fine hairs on there. Bison hair came off. We had the big herd in here. They were, I just left that pasture with Big Joe and them. But what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna do a little test is what I'm gonna do on this patch here, on this lot. This is one of our rotational pastures that we use. And so I'm going to make some strips. I'm gonna run some brush hogs, some lines basically through here. Uh, see, bison don't love Bermuda. It's not their favorite grass to eat really. And, and this is the same type of grass that grows in a, a lot of people's yards. And you know when that summer heat hits, that Bermuda takes off and we are, summer is hit. We're up in the higher 90s now and uh, this Bermuda will take off. Well, the other bad part is part of the pasture rotation is those summer grasses are getting hit hard by the bison and the weeds start coming in because it's getting hot and it's, this is our dry season. So we are hitting our dry season, but Bermuda, it, it's, it's high in protein. It also makes really good hay as well, but I'm gonna try to utilize this Bermuda and really try to see if the bison, what I've noticed before is when they're in these lots, they really like it when it's low. And so that's the plan. That's what I'm gonna do here is I'm going to cut strips in here 
cut some lines. I'm gonna go around the edge and just clean the edges up, which is what I've been doing in the other pastures since I got this big brush hog. I'm gonna run some straight line strips, get it a little low, and I'm gonna see if that's what they like and just really try to get them to eat this Bermuda. If I locked them in here for a long time, they'd eat this Bermuda. Just want them to eat and get the best, healthiest grass. And once this stuff gets so tall, once this Bermuda gets tall, you can tell that they don't want to eat it. Just to give you an example, I'm going to stand right here and show you the height of this. You can see right there the height of where we're at. It's over my ankles. It's probably at least a foot tall in some places, maybe even higher. We're going to let it grow just a little bit and I'm going to let them back in here and we're going to test and see if they really hit this Bermuda hard or not uh, because you know this is just part of it when you get down to the summer and uh, a lot of those grasses start disappearing because it's our dry season so we're going to really try to use as much pasture as we can we're going to hop on this bad boy and get to work So I've got one, two, three, four, five, six strips cut. I think this is a 10 foot brush hog. So 10 foot pass. And um, that includes the edges. I just went around the whole lot. We'll see now. It's definitely a lot shorter. Got some good hay right there. That Bermuda is actually good hay. We'll just see. We'll see how this works. It's definitely a lot shorter than it was. We're gonna rotate the bison in here in a couple of days. We just moved them down to the bottom. So we're gonna move them in here back up because there is a lot of Bermuda here. I mean, there is a lot. And if you will actually lock them up in here and keep them in here, and we can do that. And we did for a couple of days and actually knocked a bunch down. But um, I just really wanna see how this works. So we're gonna lock them up back in here. 
the big herd so it's some sort of uh what you'd call mob grazing but uh you know we're not going to do it for hours we're going to do it for days and see how it goes um some intense grazing keep them in here and we'll see if they hit this fresh regrowth here on some of these lanes that i've cut and that short grass just a little project to see if we can really use this bermuda grass you know and and then maybe someday you can cut hay off of it early in the season and you know once it's short put the bison back on here and they'll actually keep it short themselves uh with heavy grazing you just don't want to overdo it and not have any grass uh, that's why i just ran these strips we are in the heat of summer this grass could stop at any time but typically bermuda will grow a lot faster and it will spread more even when it's hotter. So, and there doesn't have to be a lot of rain. Also wanna let you guys know, water system's working great too. These guys have, they're still getting in it, but the valve is still protected. They've got a little space here. You can tell it's a little murky, not as bad as it was, but they are still getting in it and getting the water out here a little bit. They like to flap it on themselves and uh, cool off because it is so hot, so. What's up, Lumpy? Hey, buddy. Since I had the brush hog, I went ahead and cleared out where we put our hay to. See, we've already got some stacked up from the hay we got here. We got our 13 bales here. We'll have a lot more. Remember, I'm gonna get some from Daniel. Our family homestead, my brother-in-law. I always buy some off him. So we'll put the rest of our hay here for winter. So had that brush hog, went ahead and cleaned it up and got it ready to haul the rest of our hay in. Well, thank you guys for watching. Just another project, just another test or maybe an experiment that I'm trying out here on the ranch and uh, just trying to find ways to exploit and use the grass to our advantage a grass that is not um your favorite farmer's grass for sure uh, bermuda is is one of those kind of invasive plants and if it's in your yard you know that's and you've got fescue or something you're trying to get rid of it it is tough to get rid of yes i would love to have um, some more native grass here. There is native grass in a lot of our big pastures um, down the way. We do have a lot of good native grass, but just up here, this Bermuda patch has been like this for a while. And uh, you can go back and watch one of my older videos when I actually burnt this sucker on fire to try to clean it up. And it has looked totally different since then. And uh, it is a straight Bermuda patch now. But anyways, thank you guys for watching. Just still again, super excited and happy to reach 100,000 subscribers just from uh, all the followers and supporters that we have that just uh, support the bison, all you bison lovers out there. So uh, thank you again. If you guys follow us along, you guys can follow us on Instagram, you can follow us on Facebook, and you can even check out some bison merchandise at our website at crosstimmersbison.com. Thank you guys. Well, I just got out of the big pasture with the big herd, the big Joe herd. But uh, I think all in all, everything went pretty well. I was just brush hogging the edges, but I uh, only got one T-post. I like to get a little bit too close to the edges, but uh, it's all right. I'll hear about this one. Somebody in my family will catch it. <laughs> They'll let me know. It happens, right? It happens. Hey, big guy. How's it going with the new ladies? Doing good? I know you're a little mad at me. Oh, Brooks is waving at me. 